I left from Yellowknife with this openness that there would be some sort of play between the structure and what changed in the landscapes. So I like to play off on that within my design work and my artwork. It was the time of the year when uh, there was the midnight sun up north. So I was there just after the summer solstice. The sun never went down, I could bike till four in the morning. The art piece I had with me started off as a very like modern orthogonal structure. So I'd say the whole piece probably weighed 70 pounds when I first started. And that was on the back of my bike rack. So I would stop and take about two hours to set up film for five to 10 minutes and then uh, move on. And it fell apart on the second day. I kind of um, had this interest in shooting it in uh, beautiful landscapes when I started the trip. So on the third day, um, it was a fire in Northwest Territories and I set it up and it was windy and the ash was blowing around below it. So as the ash kind of blew around and I was setting it up, you know, wearing a t-shirt kind of wrapped around my head because there was still a lot of smoke and ambers on the ground. You know, filming that one and standing back and looking at it through the camera, I, it, it definitely changed the way I perceived the rest of the project to see it blowing in the wind and the ash blowing around it with the forest behind it totally burned out. And that kind of became the focus, even though that wasn't intentional to begin with. As a landscape architect, I kind of see the connection to being outdoors as spending a lot of time alone. You know, we're born into this world. We spend our entire lives as social animals. So I kind of try to fight against that sometimes and spend time alone by myself because it does transform you and it does change how you come back and look at the society that you were just in.